So start with your two elements, um, and if you want to have a shortcut to make this black background, what you guys can always do if you start here, you can just hit Control or Command J to make a copy, grab the bottom one, the one that's underneath, and then Alt Delete will bring, uh, will 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 make it whatever color this is over here. So if 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 black's not selected for whatever reason, let's say you have red selected, and you hit Alt Delete, it's going to make it red. Um, if you want a, a quick way to go to black, hit D. Now you can go back and do Alt Delete, get it black. Start with your background image. Uh, I've chosen this background. Choose a nice one, and then put in your logo or whatever it is that you want to make. Uh, look cool, and this is a really really fast technique. So make sure you're on that the the layer. In this case, I'm going to name this one Panda. Oops. So make sure you're on the Panda layer, and grab your wand tool. Your magic wand tool is W, and if it's quick selection, it comes up first. Hold Shift W to get to that wand tool. Select all of the black areas in this case for this design, but whatever the Whatever design you have, select the areas that you want to remain. Now you have your selection. Go to layer, uh, your uh, image layer, and do Control or Command J. Now what you've done, just to be sure, is you've punched out that selection from the layer. Um, now go back to that layer and bring the opacity down. You'll start to see that it becomes more visible. Don't make it too visible. Maybe right there is good. I got it at 68% because I want to show you some techniques you can do um, with this punch out. With the punch out now, let's go and add a outer glow. And you see that already makes it look really neat. Um, let's add a gradient to so the outer glow just so you guys know what settings. It's on multiply, so normal would look like this, um, which is almost exactly the same. But you can play around with these. There, there's. But this one's on multiply. Opacity's at 50, and uh, you know, take a screenshot if you want to do that. Size is at 40, and you can make that bigger or smaller. Um, I'm going to stick with 40. Range is at 50%, and jitter is at 0%. I'm going to add a gradient overlay, and I want the gradient to be the blend mode to be color dodge. Again, if you do normal here, it's going to look different. Uh, color dodge to me has a very cool, you can do a linear color dodge, uh, but I like just the plain color dodge. I think it adds a, a, a cool uh, look to it. I have my gradient like this, guys, where I'm, um, the white is uh, to the right and the pink is to the left with the little marker here closer to the pink side. And I have it set on linear, not reversed, opacity. I can even bring it down a little bit. I think that looks good right there at 37% and I have the scale to 111% and the angle at 90 degrees. Now you can add some more stuff if you want, but I'm happy with the way that looks, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, but if you wanted to add a bevel and emboss, I would recommend the inner bevel. Um, outer bevel is just not gonna look as cool. I mean, maybe, maybe if the background's different, uh, outer bevel might look cool. Like if you're trying to plant this into metal or something, like a logo into metal, uh, the outer bevel would look really cool. But uh, for this one, I like the inner bevel. And uh, you can do a contour bevel, but it adds a little bit. You can see that. And you can add a texture if you wanted to. But in this case, I like being able to see through. So yeah, guys, that is how you uh, quickly create that image. I uh, hope that you liked it. If you have any questions or if you want to see any other kind of tutorials, just send me a message or, or leave it in the comments. And uh, like always, guys, God bless. Have a good day.